Mathematics helps solve tasks in everyday life. The task I approached is how to stay at the bottom of the pool for the longest possible time. The key constraint is how to balance holding your breath with letting enough air out to not automatically float. Humans have not evolved alongside swimming pools. It is not innate to us how to solve this task. However, I found mathematics and a basic grasp of fluid dynamics could solve my problem. In order to stay under, once you've exhaled enough oxygen to sink, you want to expend the minimum amount of energy. If you try this with a usual driving stroke, you find quite a lot of energy is required to overcome a variance in water pressure along your body as you dive. Moreover, once you arrive at an awkward angle at the bottom of the pool, you find it very hard to stay put without playing about. No good if, like me, your task is to stay dormant at the bottom of the pool until you can surprise your unsuspecting friend or family swimming overhead. I went back to the drawing board and developed this stroke that allows you to stay horizontal and swim downwards. Mathematics tells me how much oxygen I should let out when to maximise my time at the bottom and which stroke I should develop to get to the bottom of the pool and stay put for a long time. And have you ever had a mathematical breakthrough when you're six feet down? I think when you're six feet under the water, the only thing you can think about is when you're going to get back to the top.